With 2.6 inches of additional wheelbase, the new 2017 E-Class sedan is not just the most intelligent sedan of its class, but perhaps the most technological advanced sedan of all time. I'd like to proudly introduce the all-new 2017 Mercedes-Benz E300 sedan in polar white. With harmonizing advanced automotive intelligence with inspiring interior design, the new E-Class comes with a host of innovative features, as well as a first-class furnished cabin that puts Mercedes' advanced vehicle system right at your fingertips. It debuts a series of world first innovation that continue to push the boundaries on what's possible in the world of automotive intelligence. Some key highlights of the new E-Class includes the advanced assistance system such as evasive steering assist, active lane keeping assist, ambient interior lighting with 64 different colors, best in class 12.3 inch high resolution display, and the 2 liter inline 4 turbo engine. Hey guys, I'm very excited to introduce to everyone the all new 2016 Lexus GSF in Metador Red Mica. The letter F represents the high performance division of cars produced by Lexus. The F refers to the flagship and Fuji Speedway which is the main test site of Lexus performance vehicle development in Japan. The Lexus GSF was first seen at the 2016 Detroit Auto Show which features the naturally aspirated 5 liter V8 first seen in the Lexus RCF. Pushing out an awesome 467 horsepower, this is one of Lexus' most powerful sedan ever made. The GSF can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 4.5 seconds. And if you want to have more fun and bring it to the track, the GSF can sure give you top speed of 168 miles per hour kind of fun. When it comes to the GSF exterior design, it is absolutely stunning, sporty, and will guarantee to turn heads everywhere you bring it. The GSF is packed with many awesome and futuristic features, some of which includes the color head-up display, pedestrian detection, and the lane departure alert, just to name a few. So here's the new key fob to the car. On there we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. Mercedes logo is in the middle there. Very unique and nice. You can also press this button on the back to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock the car, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust sound. The new E-Class of course come equipped with a smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the key in your pocket or purse. To unlock, put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch on the outer side right there. Here's a quick view of the interior. As you can see, the dash is all new, looks very luxurious and clean. To start the engine, put your foot down the brake and press the start button located okay right here. The 2017 E-Class features the 2.0-liter inline 4 turbo engine that pushes out 241 horsepower. The E300 combines numerous advances to deliver more power from less fuel. Its rapid multi-spark ignition and high-pressure direct injection can fine-tune themselves in milliseconds. Its turbocharger spools up quickly to boost response, helping deliver off the engine's 273 pound-foot of torque at just 1300 RPM. It is a 9G Tronic 9-speed transmission with standard shift paddles. The new 9-speed automatic changes gears more quickly but nearly imperceptibly. Along with a more seamless delivery of power, the lighter, more versatile transmission enhances quiet riding comfort and fuel efficiency. The E300 can hit from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.2 seconds. As for fuel economy, it gets 22 miles per gallon in the city. 30 miles per gallon on the highway and 25 miles per gallon combined. 
Here's the key fob to the core on there. We have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. You can also push this button on the side to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up, and let you listen to the exhaust note. Of course the GSF come equipped with a smart keyless access entry, so all you'll have to do is leave the key somewhere on your body or purse. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch on the outer side right there. Here's a quick view of the sporty interior. And as you can see, along with the sportiness, it also looks very luxurious. To start the engine, simply push your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here. Under the hood, the 2016 Lexus GSF again features the naturally aspirated 5 liter V8 engine. It is a 8 speed sport direct shift transmission with steering mounted F spec paddle shifters. The V8 engine pushes out 467 horsepower along with 389 pound foot of torque at around 4800 RPM. The GSF can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 4.5 seconds and its top track speed is 168 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, the 2016 GSF gets 16 miles per gallon in the city, 24 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined, it gets 19 miles per gallon. Gas mileage will also vary depending on which driving mode you're in, Eco, Normal, Sports, or Sport Plus mode. When in the Eco mode, you will see an increase in gas mileage with a slight decrease in power, and when in the sports mode, you'll see a dramatic increase in power with a slight decrease in gas mileage. Extremely aggressive engine look. Up front, there's the rain sensing power intermittent windshield wiper. Mercedes double crossbore grilled with the famous Mercedes Benz Thor in the middle. Parking sensors are also integrated into the front bumper. From its headlamps to its distinctive tail lamps, a network of long-lasting and energy-efficient LEDs accomplish every exterior lighting function with distinctive styles. The 10th generation E-Class takes on a new shape that's roomier inside, sleeker outside and stronger all over. With 2.6 inches more wheelbase and classic proportions, the new E delivers sculpted elegance with a sporty stance. A choice of grille design is flanked by the expressive LED headlamps that flow seamlessly into the side profile. It all culminates in muscular rear shoulders and glistening LED tail lamps. Moving over to the side, side view mirror has integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature including power folding, auto dimming function, and the optional blind spot assist. This is a very good safety feature that helps driver in changing lanes. Here's a quick look at the underside. This specific model features the RQR 18-inch AMG 5 spokes wheels. Behind the wheels, there's the attractive brake caliber with Mercedes-Benz lettering. 
All four wheels are equipped with the adaptive brake technology, interlock braking system, brake assist system, and the tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, there's the LED brake light behind the rear windshield. Parking assist and a rear view camera are also integrated into the rear. Again, very nice safety feature. Full LED tail lamps with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. LED technology offers much quicker illumination, thus giving the driver behind you more time to react. And as you can see, there's the attractive black rear diffusers that intimately hugs the chrome exhaust pipe. Looks very sporty overall. Here's a quick look over to the side. Tail lamp looks very similar to the S-Class. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked to open. Simply push in. And of course, it is recommended by Mercedes-Benz to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Let's go ahead and check out what's inside the trunk. Very spacious. As you can see, all the cardboard in there needs to be cleaned before it is purchased. Below here, you have all your tools along with extra storage compartment. There's a hook on all four corners. Net storage over here. You can simply pull this out to fold down the rear seat. Same goes on this side. In the center, we have a hook for you to hang grocery bags or anything you need to. Several compartments there. And here's your emergency trunk release button. Trunk lighting. Two buttons here, the lock button is to lock the core doors, and this button is to lock the trunk. Here for a complete view of the top. The new E-Class does feature a sunroof with tilt and slide function in which you can open for an open air filling. Here it is with the tilt function on. Looks pretty cool and sporty. And here it is with the sunroof fully open. Now on top there's also roof mounts. As you can see right here, there's two on each side for a total of four for you to carry extra stuff on top. Up front, the first thing we have is the automatic rain sensing windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the beautifully designed and exclusive new grille with the Lexus logo embedded right in the center. And as you can see on the lower side here, there's the carbon fiber finish which looks very nice and sporty. To enhance with visibility and probably one of the most noticeably feature of the 2016 GSF is its triple beam LED headlamps which are strikingly attractive. The GSF also features LED daytime running lights. For additional safety and convenience, the GSF front bumper also have built-in parking assist to notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. Moving over to the side, we have the uniquely designed colored side view mirror with integrated turn signal light, power control with electronic heated feature, auto dimming function, and the optional blind spot monitor assist system. Here's a quick look at the underside. F-Badge and the side fender which looks extremely aggressive and sporty. 
runs all the way throughout the side as you can see here. This specific model comes with the 19 inch forged alloy wheels with staggered tires. The front features 255, 35 or 19 tires and the rear features 275, 35 or 19 tires. Behind the wheels we have the Brembo 4 wheel power assisted slotted and ventilated disc with 4 sensor along with Brembo 6 piston mono block calibers, 4 channel anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. Of course all 4 wheels are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. To the back the first thing we have is the integrated LED brake light behind the rear windshield. Moving down we have the beautiful and sport carbon fiber rear lip spoiler which makes the GSF much sportier. Here's a quick look at the side. The rear bumper is also equipped with parking assist and a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. This is a great safety feature to assist driver in backing out and parking. To enhance visibility for driver behind us, there's the attractive and eye-catching tail lamps which were uniquely designed for the GSF. And lastly, way below, we have the nicely designed rear diffuser with the extremely sporty quadruple exhaust tips. Also did I mention the ferocious exhaust sound when it roars? Beautiful. Here's a closer look at the exhaust tip and the rear diffuser. As for the gas tank, just make sure the core is unlocked. To open, all you have to do is push in. And the GSF gas tank can hold up to 17.4 gallon of gas. And it is recommended by Lexus to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and check out what's inside the trunk. And as you can see, very spacious for a sport vehicle. Inside the first thing we have is the core mat along with the trunk net. Over here we have the first aid kit, a hook there, and below here also two additional one on this side. There's the user manual. More hook here. And this piece is used for you to carry or hang grocery bags. You can put up to 11 pounds. And for safety you can simply pull this down to release yourself from inside the trunk if you ever happen to get yourself locked inside the trunk. And to close the trunk we'll just have to close it manually. Here's a complete view at the top. The GSF does come with the moonroof with slide and tilt function. And here it is with the tilt function on. And lastly we have it fully open. Interior comes in macchiato beige with black Mercedes B's text and natural grain brown ash wood trims. As you can see, it looks very luxurious. Three memory setting for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Complete power front seat control with lumbar support. Heated front seat. Burmaster speaker. 
door lock and unlock button, four power window control, window lock at the bottom, side view mirror control on top, side door storage compartment, below there we also have your trunk release switch, Mercedes-Benz door seal, brake and gas pedal, simply pull that red lever down to open the front hood. This is to control the motionness of the driver's seat. Here's a closer look at the driver's seat. Headrest is also adjustable by pressing this button on the side. I really like the Macchiato beige. Adjustable seat belt height. The lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors. Here's a quick look to the back. Same style design as the front door. Power window control. Side door compartment. Now again, I am 5 foot 7. This gives you a better idea of how much leg space you will have sitting in the back. Again, I feel comfortable back here with no trouble with leg space at all whatsoever. Complete view of the front for sitting in the back. Looks extremely nice and elegant. Two air vents there. 12 volt core charger outlet with an ashtray on the side. Middle portion is raised. Back seat storage. It is pretty flexible. Here we have additional storage compartment. And on the end, there's two additional cup holders. Back seat does feature the latch system for you to safely hook down your baby seat if you have any babies. Really like the black seat belt, looks very nice in contrast with the seat color. On top on both sides, we have your handboard here. Also have a spot for you to hang your clothes there. Lighting control. Additional single hook on each side. And here's a quick look to the top. So here we are back in the driver's seat. Here we have the three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. Looks and feels very luxurious. To the left hand side here as you will notice the controller is uh, different from previous model. This is a touch pad as you can see. Let's go ahead and demonstrate it for you. You can just kind of slide it forward. Right or left to change the different menus pretty nice and uh, even the front digital dash here is different Mercedes logo in the middle with the horn voice command option Bluetooth telephone answering on this side gear shift paddle and here's our gear shift box to control push your foot down the brake light up to put the car into neutral heavy up to put the car into reverse now when you do so, the rear view camera will automatically display here with guided lines which move according to the movement of the steering wheel which is a very nice safety feature. Light down for neutral, heavy down for drive, and press a button on the end for park. 
Over here we have your right and left turn signal along with the windshield washer control and the windshield release washer. Cruise control, steering wheel placement control here. Driver air vent. Headlamps control, fog lights control, and interior lighting dimming. Power parking brake. Moving on up, we have the driver's sun visor. With a small clip on the side to hold paper or credit card. Mirror with light on top, which turn on and off according to the open or closure of the mirror. You can also move this entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage while still having another piece for the front. Hand bore on top. In the center we have the all new screen display which look extremely crisp and clean. Four air vents right below that. And as we can see here, the engine start and stop button is also redesigned. Climate control. And a lock clock in the middle. Has a light control. Here's a core setting. Telephone. Here's the telephone view. Media view. Radio view and or navigation view. Here we have two cup holders and there's an USB input. You can put your key fob right there and a spot for you to put your phone. This piece here is removable and the entire cup holder is also removable. And this is your command center. This is what you use to control everything that's going to be displayed here on the screen. On top we have the touchpad. You can also press down on it to select. And this big knob at the bottom has the same function as the touchpad on top. It is multi-directional. And you can also press down on it to select. And simply twist it to zoom in and out on the map or move through the different settings. Here's our different driving modes control. Different driving mode will also display here. Parking assist control. Camera view. Simply press this and the uh, camera will display here. And you can actually select which view you want to see. Here's the rear view. Engine auto start and stop button, press that to turn it on or off. Audio volume control, you can actually just press down to mute. And the on and off button here. Middle arm breast compartment is 50-50 split. Inside we have two additional USB input along with an SD input. Glove box compartment. As you can see, the entire dash is redesigned. Moving on and up, up, we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the built in universal garage door opener. You can simply input your codes in there and press those three buttons to open and close your garage doors. Here's a spot for you to put your glasses. SOS is for roadside assistant and press that and you'll be automatically transferred to roadside assistant. Light control. Mm -hmm. 
and here's a quick look at our sunroof. There's the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Now let's take a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. Very nicely designed and on top as you can see here's the uh, carbon fiber finish trim. Right below the door handle we have three memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Four power window control. Door lock and unlock button along with the window lock button. On top we have your side view mirror control. Side door compartments there. Lexus door seal, brake and gas pedals, here is the hood release lever and the trunk release button, multiple power front seat control, here's a closer look at the driver's seat, looks very sporty also have the F badge imprinted on there I really like the seat seat belt is adjustable and as you can see here the seat is very similar to most uh, higher end sporty cars Side door trim also have the matching color with the side view mirror which looks very nice and attractive. Now let's go ahead and check out the back. Same color and style design as the front seat. Same as the door here. We have the carbon fiber finish trim on top. Power window control and have a small slot for uh, you to put change or things here and additional room there and side door compartment Lexus door seal now let's go ahead and hop in again I am 5 foot 7 so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have sitting in the back I have no trouble with leg space back here. Here's a complete view of the front from sitting in the back. Again more carbon fiber trim and two additional air vent. Way down here we have a 12 volt core charge outlet. And the middle is raised as you can see. Back seat compartment. Here in the middle we have additional storage compartment and you can put your phone here and on the end we have two cup holders. You can also open this piece which will give you access into the trunk. Here's a closer look at the back seat. Again, very sporty. Back seat also have the built-in latch system for you to securely hook down your baby seat. Here's a seat belt. Look very nice in contrast with the uh, leather seat. Directly above our head, we have the uh, lighting control. Handball on the side with a slot for you to hang anything you need there. And we are back in the driver's seat. Here we have the F Sport steering wheel. It looks and feels very comfortable. 
On the left side, we have the different audio mode control, volume control, channel control, and Bluetooth phone answering control. Lexus logo in the middle with the horn. And over here, we have the different control option, which allows you to control everything that's going to be displayed here on a digital dash. Behind the steering wheel, we have the gear shift paddle, one on each side. Here's the windshield washer control, cruise control. Over here, we have your right and left turn signal along with the high beam and twist the end knob to control the headlamps. And way below there, we have this power knob to control the steering wheel placement. Driver air vent with carbon fiber finish trim at the bottom, which again looks very nice. Traction control along with your fog light control. And here we have another storage compartment. I really like the fact that they have the blue stitching here, as you can see, very nicely and detailed. On top we have the driver sun visor with a slot for you to put your cords. Also have a small piece of mirror with light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror. You can also move this entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage. And we also have the uh, handball on top. Moving over to the middle, we have the beautiful design navigation system display along with the audio system. Now it is blinking due to my camera. In reality, it does not blink at all and it is very clear and crisp and high in resolution. Looks very clean. Two air vent here with an interlock clock in the middle. And right below that in the center, we have uh, your CD slot volume control over here and you can simply press down on it to turn the audio on or off. Next we have your hazard light control and on both sides here we have the temperature control with a screen which looks very futuristic as you can see when they, we change the temperature the number jumps and looks uh, very nice. Here's the engine start and stop button. Again more carbon fiber finish both front seats have heated and cool air feature control. Here we have two cup holders and the middle piece is removable for easy cleaning. Here's our gear shift box and as you can see again it's very detailed with the blue and white stitching. It looks very nice. Now simply move it down to R to put the car into reverse and when you do so as you can see there the side view mirror automatically tilt down giving you better view of the rear. Along with the rear view camera automatically display on the screen here with guided lines which move according to the movement of the steering wheel. And as you can see the screen is split with the rear view mirror and the navigation on the side by side. N for neutral, D for drive and simply push over to the left to put it into manual sport mode and then you can simply push up or down to change gears or you can simply use the gear shift paddle here to change gears. Below that we have the different driving modes control. Push down for normal mode, twist over to the left for eco mode and twist over to the right for sport and twist it one more time over to the right for sport plus. And the different driving mode will also display on here. And as you can see, each driving mode looks different. Which is a very nice added on feature. Also looks very cool. Next over here, what I call is a command center. You use this area to control everything that's going to be displayed on the navigation screen the enter button we have one on both sides and this knob is movable and you can see I'm using the knob to maneuver around the navigation here and you can simply press down on it to select and as you can see there again it's very nice with the split screen 
and if you're familiar with Lexus interface it should be very easy for you to use just showing you some of the different uh, settings and how it looks here and for the middle armrest compartment unlike most other part of the core this part here is fabric you can slide it back then open it fully inside we have a removable piece here and storage room down there along with a USB input two of them and an auxiliary input also have a 12 volt core charge outlet glove box compartment And there we also have the trunk lock button. And now to show you complete view of the dash. And again, I really like the carbon fiber finish throughout. And the dash for the most part is also fabric. And this one also comes with the head-up display as you can see there. Very nice and cool feature to have. Moving on up, we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the universal garage door opener. You can simply put the codes in and use those three buttons to open and close your garage doors. SOS on top for roadside assistant connection. Further up, we have the different lighting controls. And next we have the moonroof control. Let's go ahead and show you the tilt function. And you can slide this cover out manually. There it is with the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. <laughs> 